Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing off some of my modifications of this thing. This is my Mercury mag. And uh, I added a spacer to this magazine. Oh. <laughs> I added a spacer to the magazine well, so that way it's uh, a little bit lower. That was really funny. So anyway, it, this is a little bit lower now, and uh, it means the magazine, it, it's not pushing on the second dart in the magazine. I had problems with feeding before, so now it's just pushing on the right area, so that worked. I'm going to take a couple shots of that yellow thing there, it's about 25 feet away, just to kind of show you what my goal is. This I wanted to make it kind of like a carbine, so anyway, let's see how it works. Alright. So that was really accurate. I was aiming for that little center uh, hash mark in there. And uh, I added some cool custom tape to the stock. Just because this is painted, I don't want to have like, you know, paint rubbing off my cheek too much, so I did that. Um, I finally did get an O-ring in there, if you saw my last video. So, it's, uh, I was using the red ones before. This is a black one. I'm not really sure what the difference are, is in O-rings. Another modification I made was uh, add this Gatorade lid here, and that just helps seal that up, so stabilizes that. I do have a ability to quick change out barrels still if I wanted to. And uh, this has still got that Lego DEI thing. However, I switched to a brass barrel. This is probably about five inches of brass. And just sort of locks through that breach there like that, so. But yeah, still probably only getting around 130 FPS, but I like the ability to, I like that. And I like the bolt action, it's really fast, so. And you know, when you take this thing off here, I'll show you that, and you kind of get like a, talon claw type situation, so I'm happy with that. Also really happy with the way my front sight looks. Let me see if I can show you that. That's so accurate, I love that. So that's awesome. The accuracy works great on this. Pro mag work great. The one thing I wish I would have done is I constantly find myself dry firing it from the open bolt, which like is not good. It doesn't break anything, but it sounds like hell, so. I wish I had left some of the guts in here that keep that from happening. If you're going to do one of these, I advise you pretty much to leave all the ratchets and the locks if you can, just because, you know, you still have all the jam controls and all that. So, uh, if you did do a stock attachment point, you might have some issues with that interfering with the priming indicator, but you probably could sort that out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show you this off in action. Sorry if the video is windy. We live in real life here, so. All right, you guys, I figured I'll just take a couple of long range shots, probably around like, I would say 65 to 70 feet here. So I'm gonna hold the bolt forward just to give it a little more pressure. All right, some of those are hit or miss. I was kind of a mix of using the sights, mix of not using the sights, but it's also a little bit windy if I need another excuse, but uh, yeah, really cool. I like not having the K26 in there because even just dry firing it is perfectly fine. So very happy with that. Anyway, thank you guys.